Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Ratchet Lectors. And today we're discussing a long lost game that was in development that nearly made it to the Sega Dreamcast, but got canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. And that's Heroes of Might and Magic 3. The king has been murdered. Will Catherine be able to restore her family's reign? She needs help and she is looking for heroes. Now is your chance to be one. Explore unknown and dangerous lands. Build up flourishing towns of wealth and power. Train your heroes for the unexpected. Learn magic spells and gain wisdom. Get weird and wild creatures to fight in your army and prepare for... Combat. Are you a brave and cunning warrior who strategically defeats all of his enemies? Or a pitiful coward that runs for cover? The battlefield will decide. Play a multiplayer game with up to eight players at one console. Fully adapted and optimized for Dreamcast. Coming soon, Heroes of Might and Magic 3 for Dreamcast. Back in 2000, we Dreamcast fans were expecting a port of the popular PC franchise, Heroes of Might and Magic 3, a turn-based strategy game. Due to the overall size of the game, and Sega Dreamcast had issues running it, and rather than delay it, it was instead canceled. A fellow collector and all-around preserver of the Sega Dreamcast, Fatalist DC, purchased their rights back in 2005. 15 years have passed, and now Fatalist DC is looking to release it. A GoFundMe was organized to help with the cost of bringing the long-lost port forward. At time of recording, it has now reached its goal, and will be released in beta form. It'll contain bugs in the code, but it's still playable to those who are interested. To see a game that's lost in translation, a game that was nearly done and nearly completed, but wasn't running to its full potential on the Sega Dreamcast and canceled, it's crazy to see that it's gonna get finally brought forward. Even though it's probably gonna be just a ROM online, and you'll probably be able to play it that way, I don't see a physical release of this game unless somebody picks up the rights to this. But the ability to have a game that we were so eagerly anticipating get brought forward is something pretty cool. I personally am not a fan of Heroes of Might and Magic. I'm not a fan of those type of strategy games. What? I could see the draw into it. I'm not personally invested into that style of gameplay, but it is a great little thing to see brought forward to the Sega Dreamcast community. I certainly hope that there's other licenses that are out there that get brought forward so a lot of us fans could get a chance to play. Heroes of Might and Magic is a storied franchise that's been around for 20 plus years. The only way I could see you play this is through the ability of a modded Dreamcast, an SD card, and the ROM running on it. If you're at all interested in any more information, I'll put some links down below. I'd like to thank the Dreamcast Junkyard for actually bringing this story forward and letting the masses of the Sega Dreamcast community know of this unparalleled good news that we have finally in this community. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.